week in Bangkok's historic centre, rising tensions boils over into bloodshed. Really is what they've been firing bullets. So we'll just stay here for a minute. Basically the protesters went after the police, pushing them down the road, and that's, uh, that's when they uh, fought back. In just minutes, the city that was last year named as the world's top tourist destination descended into chaos and violence. Four lay dead, dozens injured. Thailand is tearing itself apart in a complex political drama that's pitting the country's established elites against each other. Sutep Taugsiban is the face of Thailand's citizens' coup, what he calls restarting democracy. Having brought Bangkok to a standstill just days after the election earlier this month, this shrewd politician is on a crusade to purge Thailand of a government he claims is plagued by nepotism and corruption. ประชาชนทุกสาขาอาชีพทั่วประเทศเค้าก็ลุกขึ้นมาต่อต้านรัฐบาลหมดแล้วข้าราชการก็แสดงปฏิกิริยาออกมาชัดเจนว่าต้อง
Enraged by their presence, protesters quickly sized up the police and pushed them back. <laughs> Emboldened, protesters surged forward with their barricades. The police are clearly outnumbered. With gunshots comes pandemonium. Some protesters seem oblivious to the danger. <laughs> With six dead, the clash marks a turning point for the protest movement. And Sutep incites the crowds to revolt. Sutep's demands are clear. Ying Luck must resign or he and his supporters will hunt her down and immobilize her parliament. Within hours, teams of provocateurs are dispatched on trucks, taunting Yin Luck and her government through loudspeakers. <laughs> As the struggle for Thailand's political future intensifies, Sultep has turned up the pressure on the Shinawat dynasty. In recent days, his calls for boycotts of Shinawat owned businesses has sent their share value tumbling. And in a sign of what is yet to come, thousands march on the family's gleaming skyscraper known as Shinawat Tower.